Hello everybody, Joe Cool here. I just uh, come in to you from uh, my fish room behind my tank and I wanted to talk to you guys about your uh, salinity probes. I've been seeing a lot of people are having issues with uh, constantly wanting to recalibrate and whatnot and uh, I'm here to tell you that that shouldn't be the norm. Okay, so I have had multiple Apex systems and run salinity probes for years with only calibrating them one time. So anyways, a couple of the major factors are one, micro bubbles. Believe it or not, those little tiny bubbles have a lot to do with affecting your salinity probe. What it does is it builds up air inside your probe sensors, uh, your sensor, and it's not getting the right conductivity in order to get the reading. If you can go to your probe and shake it a little bit and then your reading fluctuates, then you know you're having a micro bubble issue. You shouldn't have to recalibrate as you say, well, my refractometer, my imaginary one I'm holding up here, <laughs> looking through it, is, is reading 35 PPT, but my apex is saying it's like one PPT off. so. It's like, uh, you know, oh, I need to recalibrate it. No, you don't have to recalibrate it. Shake it, get the micro bubbles out. Okay. So, what you need to do is try and figure out a way is to get rid of your micro bubbles. It's either through uh, probe placement, uh, putting the probes in the display tank, uh, in the overflow, um, mostly where they're not going to get a bunch of light where they can build up algae or like an algae film on them that's going to affect them. Um, put it before your skimmer and sump. If you have a really small sump um, on some of these smaller tanks, you know, I know that sometimes that's a really hard um, thing to get by. Um, luckily mine's, I can lay down on my side my sump, so I have plenty of places to put my probes where I generally don't have the issue. Every once in a while, I'll get a couple bubbles that'll build up over just a long time and when I do my monthly cleaning, it's back to norm. Um, second thing is electrical interference. I see so many of you have these real fancy module setups. Yes, they look beautiful. Apex cabinets, all their modules together. But what you're not realizing is all your probe wires are crossing all your electrical wires over there near power bricks. Um, that's a big no-no. I say if you want to do the display, have your brain off to the side and your power modules, you know, a foot or so away. And then just you run the USB over to the power module or the uh, EV33, ah, can't even spit that out. The EV module, wow, that was terrible. Anyways, your power supply unit, whether it be an old EV8 or EV832 or whatever you want to call it, 32. Um, keep those power wires away from your probe wires. Now I have um, wire loom um, right from the head unit all the way to where my probes are. So, and I also don't have any power wires, any float switch wires, USB wires, anything crossing those um, those wires. Um, I see a lot of people um, having issues and then I see their setups and as soon as they get like power bricks for the LED modules and all the power supplies, all the power wires, all that interference away from the wires, they don't have any issues. I mean, when you think about it, the salinity probe works off conductivity. Uh, so, you know, electric, electrical interference, there you go. I mean, it's uh, pretty simple to figure out that uh, any electrical interference would affect something that's reading basically a current in the tank. Um, it uses current to come up with its numbers. So, you know, if you keep that apart from any of those wires, that might help solve your problem. Also, um, you have an issue with them being next to other probes. I've found that if I have a multi-probe holder, like a magnet one, I have the Apex one, I have a gap in between 
my pH and my ORP probe, which has helped. I've noticed that sometimes when they're real close together, the readings are funny sometimes. So I think it's just interference. If you could put the salinity probe and the temp probe spaced apart a couple inches, you know, the one that your, your temp probe that you have, so your automatic temp adjustment on your um, apex is in the same location, and you put the pH and ORP and other probes somewhere else, and you shouldn't have any issues. Um, that's what I recommend. So uh, keep your salinity probe, conductivity probe somewhere else, away from your other probes if possible, or have at least a space in between them. Um, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is um, people just using the number that their, system, their apex has given them through the app. Uh, I saw one guy said his uh, salinity was 37. <laughs> and I said, and he's like, well, I just know that it's 35 because my refractometer says it's 35. So I just, I'm just going with it. No, don't do that. Go in there, uh, the temperature compensation is off per your conductivity probe. Um, yes, once you calibrate it, it'll, it'll be perfect. You calibrate it properly with the new solution from Apex or Neptune systems. When you get the new probe, or if you clean and recalibrate a new probe, uh, existing probe, and when you put it in the water, if it's reading off from the refractometer, adjust your temperature compensation. Adjust that to where you're getting the same exact reading as your refractometer, but only if your refractometer is an auto temperature compensating refractometer, and it's a quality one that gives actual accurate readings and is calibrated properly, because you don't want to start messing with your conductivity probe if your refractometer is actually wrong. So, you know, go up to your LFS, uh, local fish store, take your refractometer, you know, maybe they have a tabletop digital one, seawater one, and compare. Uh, see if you're getting the same readings that theirs do. Make sure yours is working right. And then just adjust it in your apex, and then you should be good to go. So try these things. See how it works. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Um, that's it. Uh, hopefully you don't have any issues with your salinity probe, as I ran one for years without having to ever recalibrate it more than the first time. Um, so hopefully this is good for you. So Joe Cool out. Uh, share and subscribe. Love to see you all here. Thank you much. Bye.